need this, you need that. He said, let them say their rules, let them keep their rules for them and let them take them with it wherever they want to go. At the end, they are not going to take anything. Kadaranda usiyam baradhukan kadevalike. Not even a needle with its eye broken will come with you. He said, let me sow the seeds now. <coughs> I am not interested in making sure the conventions are observed. 500 years from now, <coughs> if the seeds, the bijaksharas that I give start to sprout, I would have done my job. <coughs> Guruji took Mahasamadhi in 2015 <coughs> and Mahalia Amavasya during that time, very auspicious time. As his children, it is our duty to make sure that what he started does not die a natural death. We want to continue giving out as much as we can within our very, very limited capacities to whoever who is interested. <coughs> so, we decided in this temple that we will make the Yantra Puja available to everyone. And takes not just a few people, it takes an army. Because sometimes when the information is available, it is not accessible. Sometimes we do not know who has the texts and who has the pictures and the diagrams of the yantras. So I have been making calls to find out all over the world who has. Some of them came from the most unexpected sources. Some of them came from Kasi, some of them from Gujarat, some from Mumbai, some from Chennai. And now we had to match the puja vidhanam that we had with the yantras to see whether the deities will fit or the deities that can be located in the particular avaranas. <coughs> the yantra that you see in front of you today, so beautifully decorated, it's not one person's job. Many people have been working towards this for some time. We have planned that we would have 51 yantras completed before the end of this year. So already we are well on our way. We have completed 44 of them. We not just have seven more to complete. After it is completed, <coughs> as a contribution to the Sri Vidya community and those people who are interested, these Yantra Pujas will be made into books in four languages. English, Sanskrit, Tamil and Telugu. And they will be printed and kept in the temple Whoever who is interested in performing the Yantra Puja, we can come and take them. We are not going to just do a third-rate job of just printing it and giving it. And after about 10 years, the paper will fall apart. That won't happen. So we want to make sure that everybody will have access to these Yantras. Thank you very much for attending. This is the first Ganapati Puja for the Yantra Puja series that we are planning. And this Navaratri, we will have until Vijay Dasami, we will have 10 Yantra Pujas. If tomorrow, if morning, if today is Ganapati Yantra Puja, the main homam for the day will be Ganapati Homam. If it is Ashwaruda Yantra Puja, homam will be Ashwaruda. If it is Mahabharahi, Mahabharahi Homam. Raja Shamala Yantra Puja, Raja Shamala Homam. Like that. For all 10 days, we want to make the awareness within the community grow. As you know, Yantra Puja is kept under wraps. Nobody will share, even if they have the information, they don't want to. But you must realize that when you walk into these powerful temples, wherever they have for thousands of years been doing Puja, the main source of the power is the Yantra underneath the deity, not the deity itself. <coughs> the power of the temple comes from the Yantra that is placed underneath it. 
This is why in the last month we have had a couple of workshops to try and see whether we can educate the public in this. Many people put their hands together. As you know, a project like this is not easy to come by. Many people have given up their time very generously and worked, not to mention the amount of monies that they have spent on this thing. So thank you very much and welcome. And we hope that you will participate in this. <coughs> in the month of August, there is going to be a unique homam and parahainam in this temple, led by ladies. The, all the ammas in this temple and the ammas to be in this temple, they will be leading the pujas and everything, the parayanam and everything. So, we are hoping, you are hoping to have thousand people participate? Yes. Can you explain a little bit of what you are planning to do? Go ahead. Namaskaram. Thank you, Ayya. I always look upon Ayya as a modern Rishi of Kali Yugam, who shares freely. He is a free soul and we respect him and admire him a lot and we imbibe all the values that he represents. I thank Aya for giving us the opportunity to share a little about the event that is going to take place in August. SVTS under Aya's leadership and blessings have been very supportive of all the events that we have been conducting. Our small team is known as GRD IS Gurukul and with God's grace and IS blessings it has grown over the years. Last year we celebrated our first annual event as the Sahasra Suvasini Puja where more than thousand ladies were worshipped as Sri as Sri Lalita Mahatri Purasundari. And Amma was the first one to be worshipped as Sri Matre Namaha. And we were so proud and so blessed to have Amma grace the event and take the place of Sri Matre Namaha as the very first Namavali of Sri Lalita Sahasranamam. With God's blessings, the event went out very well. And in that event, we made an announcement that the second event, which will be our annual day, and we call it the World Shakti Day. The first event that we did, we call it the World Shakti Day. And now we are going to celebrate every year, one day as our annual day, called the World Shakti Day. The second World Shakti Day, which is our second anniversary, with the full support of SVTS devotees and our students, it will be a joint effort. And the event is going to be spiritually historical. For the first time, a Shatachandi will be performed exclusively only by women. Shatachandi means recitation of Devi Mahatmyam or Durga Saptasati 100 times and the performance of 10 Chandi Homams. With the blessings of Aya, already Sahasra Chandi and an earlier Shatachandi took place. I think it was in 2017. What is unique about this is that only ladies will be performing the recitation as well as performance of the homams. Traditionally, there have been discrimination against women learning and taking part in spiritual programs. 
discrimination against those not born as brahmins and there is no place in the shastras for both these discriminations therefore this with ayas blessings is the first step towards a program that shows a paradigm shift from the established model where only male brahmins perform here the women right from ganapati puja to punyaha vachanam to all the necessary rituals prana pratishtha for navachandi sodashopachara puja for navachandi and then the parayanam of devi mahatmyam of 700 shlokas will be performed and after which on that will be on august 10th afternoon and on august 11th morning chandi homam will be performed and only by women us men will support them as volunteers and this step is revolutionary in a way to 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 wake up people in our society who have been silently through their silence been supportive of the discrimination that we have seen through thousands of years those who discriminate do so because they are conditioned that way but 99% of the society are silent watchers and have not done anything about it because they have lost their roots women represent shakti and if the woman in the house becomes learned the child also starts learning and and invariably the man of the house is also made to learn by the woman this is a very unique qualities that women have so we have made women the central focus of this event please come and attend we have seen women participating along with men here but this will be unique that only women will be performing and with ayas blessing we'll also plan a maharudram and atirudram in the future with only women leading the event and us supporting on the side all men should not think as to why should i come what is the role for me please remember for thousands of years women have supported you and this is a time for a payback and the selection of men volunteers will also be those who are qualified who know devi mahatmyam who know the pujas who are initiated so even to become a volunteer you have to earn the right to become the volunteer so we thank aya once again and where can we get a better location venue for performing a grand event like a shatachandi but in sri raja rajeshwari temple in front of sri raja rajeshwari and in the grand presence of the rishi of this kali yoga sri haranayya and amma it is definitely our purva janma prayer life punyam that has brought all of us together to render this event with high quality with as much perfection as is allowed we encourage and we invite all of you please come and attend support women participation and equal rights in all spiritual events and do not be afraid to stand up for women's rights and if someone says women are not allowed to chant vedas please tell them can you show me in the shastras where is it written it is not written it is not there anywhere we have done enough research at least pop a question 
शो मी इन द शास्त्र डोंट बैक अवे मैन मैन और वुमन प्लीज आज दिस क्वेश्चन शो मी इन द शास्त्र इट इज नॉट देयर वन सिंपल क्वेश्चन विल ब्रिंग अबाउट ह्यूज चेंज थैंक यू आई फॉर गिविंग दिस ऑपरचुनिटी एंड वी रियली थैंक यू फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ अवर हार्ट फॉर दिस ग्रैंड ऑपरचुनिटी एंड फॉर योर लार्ज हार्टेडनेस इन enabling this event and our small team at this wonderful temple thank you so much yeah just some announcements about uh, today's program as well as uh, upcoming events so first of all i request you all to kindly remain seated we have a few more things on the agenda uh, first of all um, june 28th to july 1st will be our annual festival those of you who have been coming to the temple know that this is the time every year that we celebrate the the anniversary of the temple the temple in this location has been here for 20 years and uh, this is the 21st year in this location so june 28th july 1st it will be celebrated uh, with a lot of pomp a very grand event one of those days june 30th will be the rashi mandala puja so those of you who have attended in previous years know that uh, this is the jataka dosha nivarana rashi mandala puja we do this puja every year to help people who are suffering from influences of planetary positions and planetary forces also we are starting a guru mandala puja given that guru parampara uh, sorry guru purnima is uh, july 16th this year as every year we will be doing a mandala puja so this is only for people from this guru parampara who are initiates of ayya or or guruji or swaprakashananda guru garu this year given that ayya has uh, really talked about it and is really trying to spread yantra pujas the mandala puja will also be a yantra puja specifically it will be the dattatreya yantra puja so starting june 6th which is thursday we will all of you who are interested in doing this will be doing dattatreya yantra puja we have these laminated dattatreya yantras so those of you who would like to do this you can please pick up a yantra while you are here the puja paddhati and a audio recording of the puja will be sent to you, to all of you all of you who are interested in doing this so you can pick up a yantra today and you can start on june 6th so for 41 days you will do this and the last day would be july 16th which is guru purnima for this like i already mentioned you have to be from our parampara and minimum bala tripura sundari initiation okay um one more announcement is in preparation for the annual festival on june 15 16 and 22 23 we will have our cleaning weekends so again um request all of you volunteers to please come and you know, as in previous years help with that so that we can prepare the temple for the annual festival I'll take a few more minutes of your time to talk about uh, the Rajagopuram project, which is uh, very near and dear to all of us. So, as I just mentioned, the temple has been in this location for 21 years. This is the 21st year, and uh, I'm sure you felt it today. But you know, we don't have space. All of you are pretty much sitting in other people's laps. um and uh, when you come for alankara utsavam you will see how it is the number of people who come we can barely accommodate them standing uh in this uh, facility 20 years ago the temple started in a barn which is where the sanctum is a barn where horses and cows used to be very auspicious for temples over the last 20 years we have extended the structure and we have brought it till this point but beyond this it doesn't make sense so it is ayya's vision ayya's dream to build a permanent home for the mother so uh, this is something that uh, we will be building on this very property uh, a model of the temple 
a 3D model is available and we have drawings now. If one of you can operate the slides, yeah. Um, so we have uh, been working with an architect, uh, Sri Ashok Mangara in Houston, who has been responsible for the Meenakshi temple in Houston, as well as Sri Muttaya Stapati from India. Sri Muttaya Stapati is the one that, um, uh, you know, among other things, was responsible for the, the mother here, the Raja Rajeshwari Murti in our temple, was sculpted by him many, many years ago. So it is uh, probably mother's wish that he be involved again in this next phase of our temple. So this is the proposed plan for the temple. It will be 220 feet by 120 feet. And it will be connected to our existing structures. So this temple, the cabin, the, the library, all of the existing structures will still be around. And this new temple will be connected to these structures through a system of corridors. This temple will continue to remain as the primary place where Annadanam happens and any private pujas, any private homas will take place here. The temple, the main temple will be used only for, you know, Devi's work. So that is how we will divide this between the new and the old or the existing. If you go to the next slide, um, we have uh, an enlarged view of the temple. Darshan, can you go to the next slide? Yeah. Okay, this is a, a southern elevation. Thank you. Uh, so if you look from the southern side, you can see the new temple. It will have four gopurams with one Raja Gopuram on the eastern side. And it will be connected to the existing temple, the barn and the cabin. If you can go to the next one. Yeah. So this is the temple floor plan. The main difference from our existing floor plan let me get out of the way here, um, is um, in this temple, Devi, Ganapati, Shiva, they share a single Sannidhi. In this new temple, which will be four or five times larger than this facility, they will all have their own Sannidhis. So the Devi will have the central Sannidhi, which you see in the middle. And there will be a Sannidhi for Ganapati, a separate Sannidhi for Muruga, and a Sannidhi uh, for Shiva. So all of them will have their own sannidhis. And all the murtis you see around, like Nataraja, Dattatreya, Ardhanarishwara, will also have their own sannidhis. So you will actually be able to go around each of the murtis, something you can't do here. But there will also be some additional sannidhis, one for Anjaneya, one for Manunmani. So there will be a few additional sannidhis as well. So the, the complete list, uh, Darshan, that list of sannidhis is outside? Oh, it's here. Yeah, here you will see the full list of Sannidhis. Um, so, uh, next slide. What we are planning to do now, uh, these are some of the main things that I talked about. 220 by 120 feet, four Gopurams, with Eastern Raja Gopuram, separate Sannidhis for the main deities. There will be a Mahamandabam just outside the Devi Sannidhi with 28 exquisitely carved granite pillars. The 28 correspond to the 28 Bijaksharas of the Mahashodashi Mantra. Dvajastambam Yagashala and smaller Sanadis for the other deities. There will also be a Pakashala. So that is one more thing. Here the kitchen is used for both cooking Nevedyam for pujas as well as for Anadanam. So we will be separating those functions. The Pakashala in the new temple will be used only for Nevedyam and this kitchen will continue to be used for Anadanam. Yeah, next one. Yeah, so this is an ambitious project because um, we want to build it out of as much granite as possible. As per the Agama Shastra, granite is the material that is to be used for temple construction. Like Ayya mentioned today, every vigraham in this temple has a yantra below it. And it is the yantra that is absorbing the vibrations of all the pujas, all the homas that we are doing. And it is the yantra that is actually transmitting those through the murti. And when you have a granite superstructure, when you have granite garbhagraha, those energies are contained much, much better than if you had it made out of wood or some other substance. So that is why the emphasis on granite. We are working with Muttaya Sapati to create these sannidhis out of granite in India, ship them here and build them here, assemble them here. So that is why this is going to be an expensive project. 
just the shipping, if you can imagine a pillar costing say $10,000, the shipping will easily triple that cost. So shipping itself is a large expense. So um, in order to make this more manageable for us as a community, we are going to be building the Ganapati Sannidhi first. So think about it as in the new temple where the Ganapati Sannidhi is going to come, we will build that Sannidhi and we will build a part of the temple just around the Ganapati Sannidhi with the result that you will have a completely freestanding Ganapati temple. So that is going to be our first phase. A Ganapati temple standalone in the same location where the Ganapati Sannidhi will eventually manifest. And Sri Amma has told us multiple times that if you do this, if you build a Ganapati Sannidhi, the rest of the temple will manifest. So it is very auspicious that today we started off with Ganapati, Maha Ganapati Yantra Puja and we are talking about the Ganapati Sannidhi. This will be a much more manageable one and a half to two million dollars out of which we already have a million dollars in the bank. So it is a much smaller amount that we are trying to fundraise now. And the, the uh, proposal is that we build this and as more and more funds come in, we will extend this temple and build the rest of the temple. So what you see here in the foreground is actually the Ganapati temple, a standalone Ganapati temple. Behind it you can see the rest of the temple, what it will look like when it comes up. So you can see the Devi's Vimanam will come out through the roof and that is what you see there and you also see the western Rajagopuram. In front you see the Ganapati temple which will be our first phase. So uh, again I don't need to tell you this, Mahapiriva has said this, the Agni Puranam has said this, but if there is one thing we can do in our lives which will bring great merit to us and our families and our descendants, it is to be involved in some kind of temple reconstruction, some kind of construction activity. This is the words of Mahapiriva. So for many of us, this is really a God sent opportunity to be part of something like that, part of a structure that will be there for a thousand years. Sri Amma has assured us that if we build this temple, it will be there. We will be dead and gone, but for generations to come, this temple will be there, the mother will be there. She will be granting her choicest blessings to all of our future generations. So that alone makes this a wonderful project. And again, I encourage all of you to step forward and be part of it. There are a few different ways in which many people are already contributing, which are open to you as well. One of them is the monthly contribution program. Many people are contributing what they can. Some people are doing $30 a month. Some people are doing $500 a month. There's no amount that's too big or too small. Like Ayya always says, even this temple was not funded by some rich person coming and writing a big check. It was through a lot of different people contributing small amounts. So this is one way in which you can sign up today to do monthly contributions. The other that we are doing is um, Sannidhi pledges. So all of these Sannidhis that are going to come, there are maybe 20 of them and various other structures like the Pakashala, the Yagashala, the pillars. So if you would like to, either by yourself or with your friends and family members, come forward to pledge a certain amount and make that payment over the next three to five years before it's due, that's another way in which you can contribute. If you have expertise in temple construction, expertise in publicity, in fundraising, again we are using, we are looking forward to all of those kinds of uh, expertise. Please do uh, come and talk to us. And uh, most importantly, you know, this temple is very well known in this part of the world. Um, there are, uh, you know, in the Toronto area, in Western New York, it's well known, but there are large parts of the world where this temple is not very well known. It is truly a unique temple for Raja Rajeshwari, one of the most powerful temples we have for her. So if you can spread the word that there is such a project going on, a permanent home for the mother is being built, again there is another way in which you can help us out. So you can find us um, afterwards, Darshananna here, uh, I am around, or you can talk to any of the temple devotees. 
and we also have a little form if you'd like to contribute in some way you'd like us to reach out to you with more information you know please do fill this form and and give it back to us thank you so now for those of you who are uh, seated you will be given a cup uh, those of you who have visheshargyam you will be given a cup in which you can transfer that visheshargyam to take home and you will also be given a small plastic bag uh, in which you can take everything all the consumables basically the akshadas flowers the yantram is also yours whether it is laminated or copper that is for you for you to take home anything else mamlan and the prasadam is being handed over additional oh yeah um yeah prasadam that is basically from the yantra puja we did everything you saw you see here is basically going to be prasadam and it is going to be distributed to all of you um what do you want to do with this yeah we when yeah when you have your pavitram on your way out please do drop your pavitram off uh, untie it and uh, we will show you how to take the hook out you can untie it and leave it on your way out yeah uh, just uh, one more word about the rasi mandala puja so how many of you have not attended this puja before can i have a show of hands some people here okay so for you you might be interested in more information about this puja so uh, there is a flyer outside which you can see the most important information here is all the nakshatras that are affected at this point in time by various jataka doshas for for example seven and a half years of shani the fourth pada of vishakha all of anuradha jeshta mula purva shada shravana uttara shada and dhanishta first and second padas these are all impacted similarly there are some that are impacted by ashtama shani some by saturn's 10th aspect 7th aspect and so on i'm not going to read it all out all the information is here but uh, in this particular puja you have an opportunity to sponsor a kalasham which will be placed just for you on a rashi mandala which is a, a different kind of mandala and there are also various other kinds of sponsorships nakshatra kalasham which i just mentioned navagraha yantram navaratnamala this year we have something unique which iya is trying to do um iya has been talking about how it is also important to protect the home from negative energies and uh, to do that he has talked about the benefits of himalayan salt so himalayan salt which is energized during, as part of the puja and there's also a kubera lakshmi coin inside so that if you keep it in certain key points in your home it acts as a protective barrier against these negative energies so that is one more sponsorship that's available also the varambari shanka sponsorship and there is a grand rasi mandala puja sponsorship so all of the information is available in this which will be on the notice board outside so once again the rashi mandala puja will be on june 30th sunday this year yeah anything okay we have some time and we have ayya here so questions on any of this the yantra puja or anything else that comes to mind we can pass the mic around yeah this one question whether the vidhanam today will be shared afterwards the ganapati yantra puja vidhanam whether that would be available the ganapati yantra puja vidhanam that we did today is not mine it's guruji's so of course we have yet we are still compiling all the yantra pujas that we are going to distribute in the form of a book as of now immediately it is not available immediately because we don't want to be fracturing the book and taking little pieces from here little pieces from there and giving be patient 
It will come before Navratri, I promise you that. So when we have the Yantra Puja, when we have the Yantras, then you will get them. Also, also if you are going to, if you are seriously thinking of doing the Yantra Puja at home, you need a Tamra or Swarna or Rajata. That means either a gold yantra, a silver yantra, or a copper yantra, or a bronze yantra. The others won't hold the energy. Gold, silver, bronze, copper. So it will take us a little bit of time to get the yantras properly made. There is a gentleman by the name of Mr. Welling who used to make the yantras for Guruji. He has kindly consented to make them for us. You can imagine, we can't just produce one or two yantras. We have to pro perhaps produce about 300 of them. And that's going to take a little time. That's made in, Mumba in uh, Bengaluru and it will be brought back here. So be patient. You will get the Yantra Pujas. Once we start a project, we don't uh, let it go halfway. So we will have the Pujas along with the Vidanam. So that you can do any of those that you want. There are 51 Yantras in there. Okay? Any other questions? Microphone, microphone. Let everybody hear it. Namaskara Maya. Um, our, I have, we have no words to give our gratitude to you uh, and the whole team. Um, thank you so much from all, each and every one of us who are here, who have participated from our bottom of my, our hearts, Aya. And please, we want you to live long and teach us everything and be with us all the time. Um, about this, Aya, now uh, we take this home and what do we do? Do I frame this, take it to the Sami room? Thank you. Do all of them. <laughs> take it home, frame, carry it on your head, dance the jig around the house, put it in the Swami room, put it anywhere you want. The puja that you have done today, that's paper and plastic, it won't hold the energy. But the form itself that you see, the design that you see there, that is not something that will get erased. So the protection will be there. You can take it home. Treat it like you would treat any picture of a deity, like Kamakshi's picture, you will treat that as Ganapati's actual yantra, okay? In the past. Anybody else? Any questions? I don't know. Yeah. Namaskaram, Swami. And uh, do we need to offer anything? Like, uh, do we need to offer uh, like dope stick or uh, any prasadam? Uh, do we need to offer for the yantra? Yes, whatever that you are going to eat. Once a day, twice a day, three times a day, four times a day, five times a day, whatever you are eating, offer it to Ganapati. Oh. Other than that, you don't have to do anything unless you have a Swarana, Rajata, Tamra yantra, that is gold, silver or copper yantra. If you have that, you have to do puja every day. And all you have to do, maximum, you have to offer a couple of raisins, a couple of gold raisins.
If it is metal, then you have to do puja. Bhagyata Lakshmi Bharana Namam Mani Saubhagyata Lakshmi Bharana Namam Mani Saubhagyata Lakshmi Bharana Hedjaya Mele Hedjaya Nikkuta Gedjaya Kalgala Dvaniya Thorutta Sachin Saru Poojaya Velagi Majjji Keolagina Pennile Yate Bhagyata Lakshmi Baramma Sarkari Thupada Kalu Beharisi Chukra Varada Poojaya Velagi Akkariya Vila Yalagini Rangana Chukra Purandara Vitalana Rani Bhagyata Lakshmi Bharamma Nauma Umani Sau Bhagyata Lakshmi Bharamma Vimalan Announcement. No announcement. Huh? Okay, dear devotees, we are almost done. So one more instruction, especially for the puja people. Those who are, those who sponsored the Shankam, I think that is a green color one. You will come along and you will be collecting your Shankam from the Yantra. Others, you have got your prasadam, except for the other eatable prasadam, which is going to be dismantled soon, and you will be all, all of you will be getting that. And those who did the sangalpam, which is the purple tag, you can directly go to the bookstore and collect your prasadam. Then for the maha prasadam, everybody please line up as usual around the homa hundam, then it will be served inside the kitchen. Okay? Thank you. Pavitram, yes. So all the people who did Sangalpam to all other sponsorship, if yes, take it. Take the knot out. Take the Pavitram out, take the knot out, and quietly find your way to where I am standing. One dollar at least. Have one dollar with you. You can have a gold coin, a silver coin, or a copper coin. Or one dollar, or a million dollars. Come, if you have... Come here with a dollar. Hiranyagarbhagarbhastam Hema bijam vibhavaso Hema bijam vibhavaso Ananta punyam bhaladam Ananta punyam bhaladam Atashanti prayachame Atashanti prayachame Hiranyagarbhasama vartatagre bhotasya jata patireka asit Sadadhara Prithivindya Mutevangasmai Devaya Havishavidema Om Shanti 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 Hari Hi Om
of devotees, those of you who are sit, sat here, did the puja, kindly go around the yantra, do a pradakshanam and do a namaskaram on the other side of the uh, home. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Go around and come this side, right in front of Ganapati, do a namaskaram facing north. Pavitram, there's a, uh, Arghayan has the plate. Ayya, uh, yeah. 